Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we are back in Slovak Village for episode number three. We've got our Stone Crusher here going pretty well. We've got a big plane coming over the top of us. Uh, we've got our soil, I guess, our gold processing machine. And put our soil in here. Gold stone comes out on this side. We've still got plenty of stone over here. A little bit more soil. Um, not a great deal. We're nearly out of dynamite though, so that's one thing we need to look at today. Um, I also spent a little bit of our money, if I can run down here, come down the bottom, straight over here, you see I brought a wheel loader, 25,000 litre capacity on the bucket, just to make things a little bit quicker for us, so it doesn't take quite as long. Um, this episode, I know we need, we've got 10,000 litres of water in here. I've got a tiny little bit of stone on this, or gravel I should say, in here. Not much. Uh, but we need some cement bags and some empty pallets. So what I want to do is go in straight away and go pallets. Let's go. Uh, let's go five of these. Let's go, oop, not cartons, we want cement. Five of these as well. There you go. Now, is there a spot for fuel? That's one thing I haven't looked at. Um, I don't... Pallets, cement... I don't think there's a spot for fuel. Which is a little bit strange. Everything else takes fuel. Um, Alright, where did our other pallets go? I don't think we purchased them, did we? Uh, can we have a look here? Five... Oh, there's five. Well, they must be around somewhere. I don't know where, but they're around somewhere. Alright. So obviously I've got the store delivery mod on, so it's delivered stuff to here. Um, I don't know where our other ones have gone. So I guess we're just going to have to pick these guys up and have a bit of a look around. They might have actually got delivered back to the normal store not here, which if they did, will be unfortunate. Alright, so there's our cement. We'll take some cement around the back. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that'll go still. There you go. That'll all get taken off. Awesome. That looks pretty pretty good animation, actually. Um, let's have a look. Let's quickly go down to the shop. Ah, uh, yeah. Bugger, they're down here. Alright, well, we'll leave them down there for now. We'll throw all these pallets in. Then I'll order another four. Another four boxes of cement, I guess. What does that say on the front there? Can't remember what it says. Oh, just barcodes. I thought it said something, but no, just barcodes. Okay, so they disappear straight away, that's just good, which means this is going to start working. So you can see the animation, really cool animation actually. Um, so what I might actually do, let's see if we can't pick up two of these at once. So it's going to be a bit tricky. Look at that. Very, very skillful. Luckily they're not very heavy. Right, throw these guys into there. Awesome. Let's head back around. I also did buy a massive trailer, as, or I have it brought, I should say. Um, where is it going to be, though? Not in there. It might be in trailers. Or it could be in bailing. There we go. A big trailer here. Which is going to allow us to put obviously the bricks and stuff onto to a trailer and then sell them. So what we're going to need, especially when we want to, you know, sell a decent amount too. So, All right, let's get this down and in. All right, they're connected. That'll do. We need another four bags of cement. 
can see are making I guess they're more like um then wouldn't call them bricks, they're more like cement. Uh what do you call them? Oh, not cement bricks. Oh, I can't remember what they're called. They look like bricks though. They're yeah, in Australia we've got similar stuff, we use them for like retaining walls and stuff. It's a little bit different to those, but sort of what I'm thinking. They use more for retaining walls than than um, actual house bricks. Alright, let's try and see if I can't stack one on top of the other, take two at a time. Should be able to. There's really no reason why I shouldn't be able to, except for my lack of skill. Which, obviously, you guys already know about. There we go. Stuck two on top. Need to go reasonably steady with these on top here. Don't want to go too quick. We want to make sure we leave a bit of room there too. We don't want to have a pallet pop up in front of us and have us knock it over. Alright, there we go. Throw them both there. They will unload themselves. Obviously, not perfect stacking, but. It worked. Right, we're going to need to get some more water as well. Um, might just have to go one at a time with these guys. Just have to make sure we leave a little bit of room around this production area there, because I don't want to end up having a collision. Beautiful. I don't know if we can get an auto-load trailer which will auto-load pallets or not. I know they auto-load bales and all that sort of stuff, but I'm not sure on um, pallets, seed bags, all that sort of stuff. So let's have a look at our water levels. Eh, it's not using too much water, which is good. I'd still like to go and grab some extra water. Right, throw that down onto there. Alright, so what I'll do is I might jump in the truck, record a course to head down to the water, and um, back again. Let's see if that'll help us as well. Just save a little bit of time, we can have that sort of go off, do its own thing while we're doing other things. It's probably a bit aggressive. There we go. So jump in our truck. Um, where do we go? We go out there somewhere, don't we? Alright, so what I might do is come around to here, go start course recording. Go nice and steady. Leave extra room. We don't want to make a mistake, otherwise we're going to have to record it again. So we'll head down towards the little lake. So we could obviously buy a water tower, but I don't think it's really required. We're not having to go too far, I think, just to make it more realistic. You know, not everyone has a water tower just where they want it you have to travel to get the water that you need so we'll see see how this um, course goes and hopefully it'll, it'll work for us reasonably well I've got a rough idea what I want to do when I get down here obviously put in a like a pause point um, Turn right here, yep, okay, cool. Turn right here. 
comes the train. I haven't seen the train yet. And there it goes. Cool. Right, so come through here. Maybe let's just go this way. If I come through, say something like this. Go set a temporary wait point. And I want to pause that for a second because I want to come back and refill it. And then we can actually when it comes here and pauses we can actually manually come back and refill it and then let it continue on its path. So let's grab grab our New Holland W190D. We need to grab some more some more gravel. Alright. Still takes a little bit to pick it all up but It's a little bit tedious and a little bit slow, that's why I've got the speed set to one kilometer an hour because it seems to load a little bit better if you go through nice and slow. There we go, see if we can't pick all this up in one go. Probably not. There we go. Let's come back a little bit more. Go back one kilometre an hour again. You'll see it does pick it up a little bit better going just that little bit slower. Alright, line this guy up. Alright, there we go. Nice and close. Should get about 16, 17,000 litres, I guess, of gravel. That should be all of it. There's no real numbers anywhere to tell us exactly how much we've got, so can't really tell if we're you know, getting full buckets or not, but you know, 17,000 litres isn't too bad. Right, we'll go on. Throw this in here. You can see it stack up on the ground. There we go, awesome. I might just sit this guy here. Cycle back through to our truck. Is he nearly full? Just about. Alright, there we go. We come back here and go. Um, unpause and we can just do a loop around the lake and um, head back to the quarry that'll allow us to as I said once I've come down here and refilled it um, and gone back up to the other end up to our quarry and actually emptied it we can send him off again to get another full load of water we don't have to manually do it ourselves if we can get this to work properly. Right, so we'll head back up towards our quarry and hopefully this is going to work reasonably well. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying this series so far. This is episode number three. I've recorded one, two and three all on the same day due to my work uh, restrictions as you guys should be aware of if you're been with the channel a little bit for those of you who are new um, I work away from home when I'm at work I do seven days in a row and then I get seven days off so my seven days off I try and record plenty of content for you guys for the week when I'm actually at work so I've still got stuff releasing when I'm not actually home so I do apologize if I'm a little bit ahead of where you guys are for comments and all that sort of stuff if I've mentioned any comments or anything as yet But yeah, not too far away from the quarry now. Full load of water on board and then can send him back down for another one. So turn around. 
back down to here and we can just go stop we'll go save order build trailer done um, so what is that transfer drive from start to finish yep cool okay so stop at last point or trigger yes we can do that get this guy to unload first Actually, that probably wouldn't take too long. It's not going to take too long. We'll let this happen and then we'll test it out and see if it actually works properly or not. Start this guy back up. So I think this takes 60,000 litres or something. 80,000 litres. Um, what are we up to? Gold separator. Still need a good 40,000 litres in there. Stone crusher. Still add plenty more stone into there. Blasting office. We still need some more um, dynamite. So that's our next sort of thing that we're going to do, I think. Get some dynamite sorted. Right, so let's go. Drive course and see what happens. Right, so let's jump into this guy. Take him back up the top. We can adjust our delivery point to up the top here somewhere. So I've still got that trailer, still got that pickup truck which we're going to keep. Alright, let's swing around. It's going to go over to here, somewhere like this. To come back, say about there. Actually, let's go here. Oops, auto save. Um, let's go. Dynamite. Let's grab four. See how they stack. Okay, so they stack left to right. Probably better off doing it like, oop, like this then. Let's buy another one and see how it goes. Yep, cool. It's probably the better way of doing it. Would have been a lot easier. We could sort of just nudge them into place without even having to, to lift them up. It is push. That should slowly disappear. Yep, there we go. Let's see if we can get these two together. Yep, should be able to. Boom, there we go. Awesome. Bit of black rock dynamite. Alright, so the truck's reached its waypoint. Right, so now we can go stop driver. Reverse back. Go refill. There we go. Give it to do his thing, and then when he comes back, or when, give it a few minutes, five minutes or so, we can go and check, see if he's actually full. What's going on here? Sort of in there, but not. There we go, get that off. See how we're going for dynamite after that. We're going to need some more... Um, need some more cement, of course. How are we going for dynamite? Yeah, we've got a little bit. 17%, that's not too bad. We do need some more stone in that stone crusher. Take this guy back down. Put him away in the shed. We certainly need to get that trailer as well. Alright, get this guy shut down. Blades on the ground, so we're not hurting anybody. Not quite done yet. 
Alright, we'll go and look at the screen. We'll see how we're travelling with all this stuff. Alright, what do we need? Empty pallets, we've got plenty. Cement, cement and gravel is really our two next most important things. I was probably cheating a little bit if we move the delivery point, but just for our Let's Play series, you guys don't have to sit there and watch me, you know, struggle to pick pallets up and all that sort of stuff, so I think it's probably a better way of doing it for you guys, as well as me, I suppose. I might just bump it through to two kilometres an hour. A little bit above halfway, which is good. Oh, wrong button. It does take a little while to load it up. I sort of wonder if we could use conveyor belts and stuff here as well. That would probably be a pretty good idea, but it would be really slower loading, as you guys already know. Be able to load the stone into a trailer and throw it into here. I'm not sure about the soil. The stain we could do. Alright, throw that down into there. Still got plenty of stone in there anyway, but... To get rid of these piles up here. Would certainly make a, um, a good multiplayer map as well. Certain people doing certain things, you know, you could have someone doing... Or a couple of guys up here doing quarry work. In loaders, you could have a couple of guys down doing the sawmill stuff. That would be pretty cool, I think, to have it as a multiplayer map. I right, wonder where... Oh, wrong button again. wonder where our truck is. Actually, I haven't made him come back again yet. That would be helpful. Let's get this guy full. There we go. Alright, so let's go past this bit here and go drive course. Right, he should head back now. Alright, so they're pretty much both empty now. I mean, there's still a little bit in there as you can see, both poles, but. Throw this in. Might pick up that little pole there. Only 19,000 litres in there, but. If we can get it. Easy enough. Might take us a few goes backwards or forwards. I was hoping to get um, some gold or something sold today, but I don't think we're going to have enough yet. Certainly, going to need to bring our pickup truck over and be able to get it ready for when it needs to be collected. Come on, let's pick it all up. Certainly not getting the hitbox that we'll get before. Come on. I don't know if there's a better way. Maybe if we come in this way, it might be better. See how we go from this angle. If 
picking anything up. Not yet. Very little, I think that'll do. To let that pile get a lot bigger, I think. Alright, so we're going to have 100,000 litres of stone in here ready to crush. We're still going to have... Oh, not... 41,000 litres of soil, so not a massive amount, but still plenty. Still got to wait for those piles to get a little bit bigger. Right, is our truck on his way back yet? Uh, he is, but he... He, uh, decided to... So why is it deactivated? It should be activated. I wonder if we could get water from there. That would be even easier, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, let's try and turn this thing around. Uh oh. Get some grip. Get some grip. There we go. Right, we need to make sure that's always on. That's weird. Didn't want him to go back again. For some reason he must have... Well, somehow he got back and managed to turn himself around. It's pretty good. Alright, so we'll throw all this water in that big one down the bottom here of our brick facility. wonder if we've got a full, a full pallet yet. We do. That's good to see. Let's stop here. Unload the water. Um... What I want to do again is go like that, come back into Barling Technology. We want to buy a trailer. I know, black, black, and black, because oh, black is just the bomb. Standard or wide? We'll go wide because we're going off road a fair bit. There we go. Alright, what do we need now? Empty pallets, gravel. Just need some more cement, really. Um, 2,000 litres, 66. So I wonder if we go like this, like that. See if we can buy. Look at that. It's pretty easy, isn't it? So two, three, that's all we can get. But and then empty pallets we can just do the same thing for here. Makes it so much easier than having to actually use a forklift. We do need this forklift. The forklift to come and pick this one up. I'm thinking bol balsa bricks. Oh, I can't remember what they're called now. They don't look the same. They actually look like proper square bricks or rectangular bricks I should say. Um, look at our pricing. I keep using the wrong one. Where's our bricks? It's a thousand dollars a litre. A thousand dollars per thousand litres. So that's... No, two thousand dollars for those. That's not bad. Alright, let's, um... Start this thing up. Let me try and put this trailer away. We can try not to run into everything. Uh, get rid of that. Alright, straighten her up a little bit. Right, there we go. Grab this guy. It's going to be our first... our first lot of Rick's loaded up. Alright, so I want to make sure that the straps and stuff in the right place. Um, yeah, what we could probably do is park the truck over here. We still need to get rid of that fuel loading station there. There. 
a garage. Uh, find out where it is. Should be at the back. There we go. Get rid of you. Awesome. Which means we've got enough for. Uh, let's go one more. Ooh, two more cement. And. Nope, so I thought I changed it back to here for that trailer, but that must have been beforehand. Alright, let's grab um, one of these, or oh, this one pallet that's ready to go. Whoa, slow down. I don't want to damage anything. There we go, look at that. I wonder if that. Does it or does it not? It doesn't. Good. Right, let's go for a quick screenshot. Awesome. Should be able to load this up. And get it over to the other side reasonably easily. Um, we don't actually hit the trailer. Should be able to. Is that right? It does seem like I'm way off for a minute there, but it seems like it's fine. I'll put it there, try and back out of there. There we go. Okay, we must have to. Good, at least the straps work. So at least I know. Let me put the next one on, that's not going to move. And that's, you know, a pretty good spot. Alright. It's not too bad at all. How's this one going? Only halfway done. This is pretty cool how all this works. Obviously the gravel gets thrown into here. Mixed with the cement. Thrown into there. Turned into concrete. And, um... Processes out the other side as bricks. Let's see, there we go. Sort of looks a little bit weird when it comes out, but the process is right. Um, let's grab this guy, head back, put him away, and um, we'll have a look at how things are going up the top. Still plenty of rain around. I think we just want a nice sunny day to get this done. It's going to be interesting when we head to winter too because I don't know how it's going to go with being able to use dynamite and that sort of stuff. Obviously we can't farm but and if just driving around here definitely going to have to get a salt spreader just to clean the ground up and that sort of stuff. Um, everything's running, still got plenty of fuel. How are you going? Not a lot of water, but enough. Plenty of fuel. 39,000 litres of soil. Some gold in there. A little bit more stone. I've got the stone and soil piles coming back, which is good to see. Right, how are we? The dynamite. It's 5,000 litres. Out of 30,000. So as I said, we can do this again. I'll come back to here like that um, and buy a dynamite. We'll just get to lo loaded straight into here, which is pretty cool. Alright, so what we'll do, guys, is we'll end the episode here. We're nearly at 35 minutes, so if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the series so far. And if you want to see it continue, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.